Entertainer talking sports. You know, I just did yours and Sean from the Sports Fury. Shout out to Sean. I just finished both of your guys' songs. Now I'm working on the videos. But I got to tell you, your, yours has been a pain in the ass. I've had to do four different songs for you. I've had to do four. Now the other day, I thought I had the perfect song. And you know what happens? I can't use it. I can't use it for the video I'm doing. So what I want to do is... And I may use that song somewhere down the line, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to post the lyrics to that song. And if anybody, or let's say the first person in the comment session that could tell me who made the original song, what the name of the original song, and who sings it, will win a prize. What prize? I don't know yet, but you'll get a prize from Philly 500. So here are the lyrics to the song I wrote for the end of 10 talks, which I can't use. Who is the original artist that created the original song that inspired it? Yo, the cowboy, Mr. McLean. You Americans are all alike. But this time, John Wayne doesn't walk into the sunset with Grace Kelly. It's Gary Cooper, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Trails, Hans. Dallas still stinks. You're by Edu, King Ding Ba here. So I hope everybody's having a wonderful day, a great weekend, great Saturday. You know, it's a little bit slow wise with football and, and basketball's on the all star break. So it's just it's just kind of slow. And I just was sitting around thinking. And I was thinking about some Eagle stuff. So I wanted to just come out here and kind of get it off my chest. Now the first thing I want to talk about is the number two wide receiver, the speed wide receiver that we need on the outside. I don't think people, I think a lot of people underestimate how important that dynamic deep threat is and how important it would be for the Philadelphia Eagles. I think it's super important. Now, Mike Wallace was supposed to be that guy last year. He came in, he got hurt. He's another year older. I don't trust him. I don't need him back. I don't want him back. Okay, I don't. I really don't. Um, you know, there's a lot of rumors and speculation and probability that Deshaun Jackson might be cut and might be gone from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, Bruce Arians said he would like to try to talk to him and bring him back, but I can tell you this. When Deshaun Jackson doesn't want to play for you and he's not motivated, it's not worth it. And I think that there's a good chance, a likely chance, that Deshaun Jackson is going to get cut. I think he's going to get cut and become a free agent. Now, I'm going to tell you, I jump on this in a second, in a heartbeat. I go after him because, yes, he's 32 years old, but I still think he's fast enough to play at a Pro Bowl level, at least for another two years. At least for another two years, which would buy you a little bit of time to bring in another wide receiver. Maybe somebody you get in the mid-rounds that you could bring up. But Deshaun Jackson is the kind of guy the Eagles need. We need that deep threat. I mean, look, Torrey Smith, he did a good job in terms of being that deep threat. He wasn't productive, but he was still fast enough to be a threat. I don't have any trust in Mike Wallace. Okay, I really don't. And I think Deshaun Jackson is probably going to be a free agent. And I think you probably could get him for a decent salary. Um, same range, I think, that you could get Golden Tate somewhere around there. Um, would the Eagles consider bringing Deshaun back? I would. And if I had to cut Aguilar to do it, I would. Now, it may not be, a lot, be popular with people, but he's making $9 million. $9 million, Aguilar. I just can't, I can't pay him that much. So maybe he'll take a pay cut. Maybe he won't. I don't know. But if I could bring in Deshaun Jackson, I'm doing it. I'm doing it in a second. I, I just, the deep threat is so important. If the Eagles had somebody that scared defenses, that had defenses back, do you know how much that opens up for all Sean Jeffrey underneath? How much that opens up for guys like Ertz, who is a Pro Bowl type, best tight end in football? Then, you know, when they blitz, you know, it's dangerous. And, and Carson... Though he needs to work on his deep ball, his arm strength is is fabulous. And with a guy who could run underneath the ball like Deshaun Jackson, do it. Deshaun Jackson is still faster than 
85% of the receivers out there. He's still that fast, even though he's 32. I know he has a lot of speed left. I know he has years left. I think he would be a right move for the Eagles. He would come in. He wouldn't be such a prima donna, you know, because he's older. And, and, and there's, there are other leaders in that club, in, in that locker room. So I'm not worried about Deshaun Jackson off the field or coming with the attitude. I think it would be perfect for the Eagles. And if they don't want him, then I think you need to strongly consider going after um, Hollywood Brown in the first round. And if you have to trade up to do it, do it. But you need a deep threat like that. It's it's a huge missing component for the Eagles. So I hope they get on this. And I hope that they address, not with guys like Wallace and Torrey Smith, but a, a guy who could be a pro bowler like Deshaun or a young kid like Hollywood Brown. I hope they address this. And put, you know, put more energy into getting a guy who's really going to make a difference on this offense. And he would, especially in the combination of getting a running back. So I hope they do that. I really do. I want to talk to you guys about today is something that I talk about twice a year. Once in February and once in either June or July. I usually talk about this. But most of you guys, especially the younger guys, especially the young guys, when you think of the Eagles jersey colors and stuff, you think of this color, right? This is the color, the midnight green, teal green, 90s green. This is what you see when you see the Eagles or you think of the Eagles, right? And that's fine. I mean, they won a Super Bowl in this color. I get it. But when I think, and some of the other guys, when I think of the Eagles, I think of this color, okay? I think, I think of the Kelly green. Kelly green is part of the Eagles' history. It's part of who we are, who we identify with. And in my opinion, the Eagles have to change their jersey at some point. Now, I'm not talking about just a third jersey, you know, that they wear this once a year. Because let me tell you, if they bought that, that would be the best-selling jersey. But I, I, I want something more creative. I want something even, even better. I want something where we get this, we get this, we get this, and we put it together. And they put together something new, something that's Eagles, but new and updated. Because it's been like what? Since the 90s that they've updated. I'm ready for an update. Especially the Eagles white jerseys. I cannot stand the Eagles white jersey. It's so boring and I hate when they wear it. Um, the black jersey is their best jersey that they wear right now. They only wear it twice a year. I want to see more. I want to see something new. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up, I was watching uh, the uh, you know the commissioner of, of the NBA, and they were showing these new jerseys they have where they can actually like change the name and change the number on the jersey, which is awesome, very cool. If you could do one where you could change the colors, you know what I mean, home jersey, way jersey, whatever. But it got me thinking about these Eagle jerseys, and I'm telling you, and I'm pleading to the Eagles, please update your jersey. It's time. Bring the past and history and bring the future and put it together and come up with something that is new and it's the Carson Wentz era and it's this era. We need it. We need it and we need it now. I'm dying for it. I, I'll tell you, I honestly... I prefer to buy all throwback stuff. I rather have throwback jerseys, throwback stuff, than wear the new stuff. That's how much I miss the Kelly Green. But Kelly Green is a part of the Eagles. And this is my one of my yearly pleas to please, Eagles, update your jersey. With that said, I'm going to let you guys go. I will be streaming with the entertainer tomorrow night for the NBA All-Star. That's going to be fun. And I hope to do... Um, I hope to do a live stream for about an hour tomorrow. Before that, um, just talking Eagles football, just answering your, your questions, and just, and just you know, shooting the crap. So join and look for that tomorrow. With that said, take care. Talk to you later. And don't be a dingbat.